Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today we're going to open up the uh, new release from GMT Games and uh, Jeff and Carlo Quirker Grand Prix. Uh, it's a sibling, sister, brother to uh, Thunder Alley, the quote unquote stock uh, NASCAR game, uh, uh, you know, stock car racing game. Uh, this uh, has the, the tracks you can use from Thunder Alley and Grand Prix and Grand Prix and Thunder Alley. And, uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, but it's, it's not quite the same game. It uses the same system, but is not quite the, uh, the same. I know there's some various rules. This will play two to 11. Uh, whereas in Thunder Alley, I believe I understand that. Well, I know in Thunder Alley, uh, all the cars finish and get points, uh, for finishing. And this only the top, you know, X number of players, uh, or next number, X number of racers finish. So it's, it's less of a team team game and more of a get your butt across the, the finish line first. Also, uh, you turn in more than one direction, uh, like real driving. So, uh, I'm gonna open it up, see what you get inside. Uh, you know, predicting of it's like everything else here. It says four race tracks, shoot race cars, shoot markers, 110 race and event cards, 12 team cards, and a draw bag. So, uh, there are 12 team cards versus the, uh, it's six, it's six teams you get in Thunder Alley. I should know since I made the race cars for them. Um, and I will considering trying to do the same here if I can find a a good uh, model for a Grand Prix car. Try to make some uh, miniatures for this one as well. But right now we're just going to take a look at what's inside. And see what you get. It is a heavy, thick beast. Most of it taken up by those beautiful uh, racetracks. Helps you take all the plastic off. All right, so we are here. So we can get through this IQ test opening this box. The art is by Kurt Miller. That is beautiful, uh, beautiful Grand Prix. Racer there with some lighting effects going. Very cool. All right. So we have the rules of play. Always, always a GMT production. It's going to be awesome. Um, Thunder Alley is very easy to learn. Uh, Thunder Alley, uh, the rule book is very clear. There's only a few, little bit of errata. Um, so this should be pretty, pretty much the same. Won't know until I read it completely. But uh, again, you got the event cards that happen between session, you know, between uh, hands that can alter a team, take a team from first to last or last to first. All right, so we've got our, our race cars, which are about the same size, maybe a little wider than the uh, Thunder Alley. Thunder Alley cars. Um, there's always the uh, distinction. This is the front, the back, and there was always the distinction of of which side you were using. So you only had to flip them flip them once. And I'm trying to see how they're how they're doing that now. Anyway, I'll I'll have to figure that out when I read the rules. Uh, typical GMT counter is very thick, very nice. I guess it's kind of a darker, I guess it's a darker gray on the reverse side. That's how you tell. And with Thunder Alley, they did not have the marker that you flipped to determine which side was which. So I'm wondering if they remember to include that here. Uh, so you get your tire wear and some double tire wears here. Uh, various engine damages. Uh, yeah, you only get get points for the first ten racers. Uh, I'm sure these mean something. The current leader, you got a lap marker. The first player does have a gray and a white, so I assume that's probably what's going to distinguish which side of the car you're using, so you can flip them. Um, but again, reading rules will probably help. So you got all your markers. We've got our two boards, two tracks. We'll try to get those out. I don't know if they're going to fit here. 
we draw bag. If I understand correctly, this is how you determine uh, the, the turn order in the race, uh, or just to set up instead of doing the uh, card draw. Uh, so that's maybe what these are. There's 12 of these. These must be the uh, race teams. Got your uh, movement cards, maneuver cards, race card deck, and this is your event card deck that'll cause different things to happen, like I said, between hands. Yeah, okay, so your teams are only two cars, unlike uh, six cars in the other game, so uh, that's pretty cool. Um, very interesting how this is going to play out. Definitely looking forward to this one. Oh, uh, Midnight Runners, a lot of, a lot of uh, little references there. Dexy's Midnight Runners, Flux Capacity Racing from Back to the Future. Be fun trying to figure out the rest of these here. Cool. So those are your team cards, and your team is only two cards apparently. The uh, race cards are the ones you draw. Uh, to give your choice of maneuvers. Definitely different names um, for the different strategies that would be used in uh, uh, Formula One Grand Prix racing. Overtake, challenge, challenge, flat out. So you got pursuit movement, lead movement, line movement. So these are the same solo movement. Those all look the same. Again, the rules, there may be something else different, but for the most part, it looks. Looks similar, so if you're going to play Thunder Alley, I'm sure you're going to be able to play this as well. Although, different strategy with different turns, narrow roads, and um, uh, the um, smaller teams. So that's obviously going to make it a definitely more challenging uh, situation. So that is what's in the box. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get one of these boards out and do it justice. On camera, I'll try. Maybe we have to move the board around a pan. I like how they ship them in bags, keep them safe. But they're also probably never going to go back in the bag. But they get to you safe. So let's see what we can do here. I'm pretty much zoomed out as much as I can be here. And they are huge. Huge tracks here, but you can see the artwork is really nice on these. Two lanes most of the way, but three lanes on the start, one in the center. That's in the uh, curves, so that's going to be pretty cool to deal with. Um, and they're double sided, so you got one on the side, one on that side. You got a plane that's just frozen in time, it's going to stay there and never move around. Like most of the flights I've been on. Anyway, so you get four, you get two large maps for racetracks. I know there's an expansion pack coming out with more. But that <clears throat> is what's inside Grand Prix by GMT Games and Jeff and Carla Horter. Thanks for watching.